Hi guys! Please subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell. Thank you. Hello guys! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hope that you're doing fine. Our words for today is education unlocks the door of opportunity so if you want to have a lot of opportunities in your life you have to focus on your education okay without any further ado let's dive into our topic for today so we will be talking about the components of the basic paragraph there are many types of paragraphs Indeed, over the next couple of weeks, you will learn about two additional types of paragraph that will enable you to string your paragraphs together to form a cohesive essay. To start though, let us take a look at the basic paragraph. In general, the basic well-constructed paragraph should contain at least the following number one single controlling idea number two topic sentence number three supporting details number four concluding sentence the paragraph should also be indented this means that there are several spaces before the first sentence you can achieve this by pressing the space bar several times or by pressing the tab key on a computer keyboard. All writing assignment paragraphs must be indented in this subject. Okay, what is a paragraph? Paragraph is a distinct section of a piece of writing. Usually, dealing with a single theme and indicated by a new line indentation or numbering so now we will be talking about the parts of the paragraph the first thing you need to keep in mind when writing a paragraph is the need for a single controlling idea a common trap many inexperienced writers is the trap of trying to pack too much information into each paragraph that is written. Sometimes it happens in an effort to get a point or series of points across more quickly. Other times it may be the simple result of wanting to add some complexity and depth to the writing. Whatever the reason, far more often the exact opposite tends to occur. The points being made get buried or confused by competing information and or the complexity of depth of the message is lost to the reader as he she struggles to identify what the intended core message is. This is why it is always best to limit each paragraph to one controlling idea. A big idea is that you want to communicate. It contains the impetus that compels the audience to set a new course with a new compass heading. Screenwriters call this the controlling idea. It has also been called the jest, the takeaway, the thesis statement, or the single unifying message. Another component every basic paragraph should contain 
is a clearly stated topic sentence at the beginning of the paragraph. The purpose of the topic sentence is to indicate what controlling idea that the paragraph is going to explore. So, a sentence that expresses the main idea of the paragraph in which it occurs usually comes first after a brief transition. Once you state the controlling idea in the topic sentence, your next order of business should be providing adequate support for that idea or argument. Such supporting details can take many forms, but they generally tend to include one or more of the following. Number one, facts. Number two, expert testimony. Number three, statistics. Number four, personal experiences. Let's take a brief look at each of these types of supporting details. Take note of how they might be used to support a strong topic sentence. First is fact. What is fact? The technical definition of a fact is a thing that is known and can be proven to be true with evidence. In our day and age, many things are commonly known to be true and proven. In other words, don't need to be drawn from a book or other citable source, such as the sun rising in the east and setting in the west. The existence of other galaxies outside ours, the fact that trees generally need sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to grow. There are also other types of less obvious things that have generally been accepted as facts, such as college grads earn significantly more income compared to high school grads. Fact is a thing that is known and can be proven to be true with evidence. Commonly, known and accepted facts such as this serve as great supporting details as they tend to require less convincing to be accepted by readers. Another type of supporting detail you could use in your paragraph is an expert testimony. You will learn more about how to properly integrate and cite expert testimony quotes in a future lesson. For the sake of this lesson and assignment, Start familiarizing yourself with who these experts might be in a given field as well as how those testimonies or quotes might effectively support your topic sentences. So expert testimony is also a testimony about a scientific, technical, or professional issue given by a person qualified to testify because of familiarity with the subject or special training in the field. Another type of supporting detail you could choose to use is a statistic. Something is considered a statistic when it is a piece of data from a study or other piece of numerical data. While generally most helpful for more academic-based papers, example, informative, persuasive, etc. Statistical supporting details could definitely add value to even the most reflective piece of writing. A statistic is a piece of data from a study or other piece of numerical data. Statistical supporting details are something you have likely seen or heard multiple times in your life thus far. 
You hear them on the news when they are You hear them on the news when they are reporting on election polls. You read them in magazines, articles, or even ads when they are advertising the benefits of avoiding smoking or alcohol. And you also hear them cited during general conference on an annual reports and even in some talks. You see them so often because statistics are a great way to simply and powerfully illustrate or support an important point being made with something more concrete. Statistic, statistics is the practice or science of collecting and analyzing numerical data in large quantities especially for the purpose of inferring proportions in a whole from those in a representative sample. The final type of supporting detail you could use to support your topic sentence is personal experience. Personal experience can be a powerful supporting detail in any type of writing when used at the proper time and context. However, it is oftentimes most effectively used in more reflective writing assignments. A personal experience is generally a brief story or experience from your own life that illustrates a specific point that your topic sentence is trying to make. Personal experience of a human being is the moment-to-moment -moment experience and sensory awareness of internal and external events or a sum of experiences forming an empirical unity such as a period of life. The final section of the basic paragraph contains a concluding sentence. Its purpose is to essentially provide the closure on that particular topic or idea before concluding the paragraph. The concluding sentence is not a simple restatement of the topic sentence, but rather a brief summary of how the supporting details shared in the paragraph support the controlling idea of that paragraph. Concluding sentences are important because they provide an opportunity for you to recap the importance of each body paragraph before moving on to another supporting topic. So that's all for today guys. Did you enjoy our topic for today? If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and share. See you guys for our next video. Bye!